Hello all, in this video I will be discussing about the HTML data types. In HTML, a data type is a type of data that is used in the content of an element or in the value of an attribute. They can be classified as basic HTML data types, data types that are defined in the documentation of RFC and INA. Uh, RFC here stands for request for comments and uh, INA is Internet Assigned Numbers Authority which is an organization that is responsible for allocating the IP addresses, domain names, etc. And the third classification is data types that are defined by the, the World Wide Web Consortium. We will see each of them in detail. Basic HTML data types, which has been classified as for character, text, name, and number data types. The character data type can store single alphanumeric text. Among this, characters any one letter or number or symbol or space can be used as a character data it stores only a single character so this single character can be letters capital a to z or small to a to z or it can be number 0 to 9 and this symbols or punctuations such as this all this can be used because though I have written here comma you can use only the comma symbol here punctuation okay full stop is also included and all white spaces comes under this uh, space uh, though we can use uh, numbers as characters here uh, uh, numbers are used in character data type you cannot perform any arithmetic operations on this numbers Second, text data type it enables you to store a string which can have a maximum length of 2147 483647 characters which are printable characters printable characters here means that can be printed on a paper The third category of data type is the name data type which here represents a name that can be given to a particular data function or a section of program which we mean here the unit. And the fourth category is number which allows you to store a number in the range of uh, 1 e raised to minus 3 to 3 which is a scientific notation 2 it can be up to 1.79 e power 308 this number data type has an accuracy of about 15 digits and all arithmetic operations can be performed and right? these are the four uh, data types uh, that are supported by basic html data types Next category of uh, data types are those defined in the documentation of RFC and INA. There are four basic data types in this category. Uniform resource identifier, content type, language code and the character set. We will see each in detail. First is the uniform resource identifier in short called URI. URI refers to a set of characters that are used to identify or name a resource on the internet. An example is given here. This is a name given to an resource that is the resource actually is the John Doe at example.com at 
port 80. This whole thing from HTTP to 80 is called URI and uh, this URI has different parts which are defined here and HTTP here is a scheme otherwise called a protocol examples are FTP here the protocol used is HTTP it can also be FTP or mail to etc and uh, the remaining portion that is after the double slash what we see in this uh, eclipse like uh, shape is the authority from John Doe till 80 forms the authority which forms which is uh, formed by the user information host name and port user information can be a username or password and uh, the after the at symbol we have the host name Exa uh, for example in this case it is example.com is the host name and after the colon we have the port number uh, authority is not limited to this it can also have file name uh, after this at you can have a slash followed by the file name for example index.html or it can also include a path which also is a part of the authority in this example that is not included uh, if it is there it also is a part of the authority second is content type otherwise called media or mime mime stands for multi-purpose internet mail extension which is a internet standard that allows non-ASCII data to be sent through SMTP. SMTP is the protocol that is used for emails that is simple mail transfer protocol. And this content type specifies the type of content that is used in embedded or linked resources and uh, they have two parts top and bottom which are separated by a slash symbol some of the examples are given here text slash a plain represents the plain text if the uh, documents extension is dot txt you can use here plain and uh, this can be text slash html uh, which represents the dot html or dot html extension files and it can also be text slash CSS uh, which uh, supports dot CSV I'm sorry uh, dot CSS files this can also be text slash CSV which is comma separated file uh, in cases where the files extension is dot CSV second is image slash JPEG that is uh, this uh, specifies which are the uh, files uh, image files that are supported by the uh, HTML document and uh, here the example is JPEG which means JPG the images with the uh, dot JPG extensions will be supported in this document if you want to give other extensions uh, and then uh, for example you can use dot in order to support .gif extension files, we can give here gif. If it is png files, we can give here png, etc. And uh, similarly, you can give for audio files, audio slash, top level is audio, followed by the type of extension. Uh, based on the type of extension, the second part changes. Basic uh, uh, supports... Uh, file extensions with the dot snd and uh, audio slash mp4 supports uh, uh, audio files with the extension dot mp4 you can also use here mp3 and the fourth case is the video video uh, I, an example is given here is mp4 which supports the mp4 file formats uh, you can also give here quick time uh, 
for supporting QuickTime uh, extension that is dot mov extension files uh, are supported by QuickTime next is the language code they represent the code of various literal languages that are used to script the HTML document. This is this uh, language code can be specified using the lang attribute that is used in HTML element. And some of the language codes are given here. For example, if the language to be supported is English, the language code that is to be used in lang attribute is en. If it is Hindi, it is hi. Greek, it is el. German it is DE and so on. The next uh, data type is the character set data type. Uh, they are the set of uh, standard characters that are taken from several languages and scripts of the world. For example, dollar symbol, n symbol, lowercase and uppercase letters, delta, omega, exclamation mark, etc. All these are the standard characters that are taken from several languages that falls under this data type. So these are the data types that are defined by the RFC and IANA. Next are the data types defined by W3C, World Wide Web Consortium. There are five basic data types. One is date time, RGB triplet, color names, link types and media types. Date time format. This uses ISO's date format. ISO is an international organization for standardization which is an organization that develops and publishes uh, international standards. These are the components of the state format. Four Ys represents the year in four digits such as uh, 1995 and double M here represents the two digit month which ranges from 0, 1 through 12 and DD represents the date of the month which ranges from 0, 1 through 31. And T is used as a separator between this date and time. In this date format, we use both date and time. So, in order to separate them, to separate this date and time, we use T operator, separator. HH uh, here represents the hour that can range from 00 through 23. And MM here specifies minutes that ranges from 00 through 59 and SS represents seconds that may range from 00 through 59. TSD here represents the time zone designator. Here the date, uh, we, date and time we specify is in UTC format that is UTC is coordinated universal time that is the Greenwich time. Greenwich mean time and uh, in order to specify the zone you can use the time zone designate, uh, designator which uh, is the letter Z. In the case of uh, Indian time uh, you can give the date and time plus 530 which is uh, uh, UTC plus uh, 530 here that is Greenwich uh, time mean time plus 530 represents the Indian standard time. Next is the RGB triplet. RGB here stands for three standard colors red, green and blue and these colors can be represented by using a six digit hexadecimal number. Uh, since it is a hexadecimal number, it can range from 0 to F. 
0 to uh, 9 represents the numbers 0 to 9 and uh, decimal number 10 is represented using A 11 by B 12 by C 13 by D 14 by E and 15 by F okay so six digit decimal number is used here such as like this hash it should be preceded by hash symbol followed by two digits of the six digits two are for representing the red color and two for representing the green color and two for representing the blue color uh, if i give uh, if i have to represent red color i can give here hash ff and the remaining four digits as zero that represents red color and if i want only pure green color then i can give here hash 00 ff 00 that represents green and blue is represented like this black if it is black it is all zeros if it is white it is all f's that represents white you can write different combinations to uh, display different colors so here the first two digits represent the red next two digits represent green and next two digits represent blue third type uh, that is defined by W3C is color names and uh, here uh, color names represents the colors 16 colors that can be directly called here by their color names instead of giving the hexadecimal values you can specify the color names directly there are 16 such colors available some of them have been listed here lime silver gray purple aqua olive green red blue yellow etc next is link types they are not case sensitive and white space uh, uh, characters such as uh, space tab carry sheet on new line characters vertical tabs uh, are not allowed here some of the examples are given here for link types that is style sheet which represents the CSS and alternate that is given in uh, images text previous help help to represent the help for the document bookmark is used to represent bookmarks and contents to show the a table of contents these are some of the link types that are used in HTML next next is the media type this is used to specify how to represent the HTML documents on different media such as TV computer screen paper etc HTML version 5 allows to display the text in the HTML page in different of font sizes types and colors for different media and uh, it is specified using the uh, at symbol followed by media space the media type the media types that can be used are screen which represents the computer screen and TV here represents the television projection means the uh, LCD projector it will be printed on it will be sh and, uh, that is the projection is to be shown on a LCD projector print is to represent printable preview mode that is in paper and handheld represent devices with a small screen such as tablet and uh, if you want to use it on all uh, types of media then you can specify the media type as all that's all these are the various uh, data types that are supported in uh, html thank you